Good morning, Scorpio. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole Scorps. Uh, this is going to be your March reading for 2024. Sun, moon, rising in your Venus. Cross, watch your fats. You welcome to the channel as well. Discern the messages. I definitely want to say to the Scorpio Collective, thank you all so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, donations, personal reads that you have um, booked with me. You guys have been fabulous. Um, I love that I'm able to connect with you in all signs, but Scorpio, like when we ourselves are that, like we tend to really gravitate and, and really know that energy well. So, um, you know, I'm fortunate to be able to do this and, and be that guide to you guys. So thank you for your love, trust, and support in me and all the ways you support the channel. So thank you. Um, Scorpio, so let's just jump right into it. Personal reads are available. That information is in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Um, <clears throat> while, and pardon me, I'm a little congested, the weather is starting to get a little nicer, so, you know, body is like, hold on a second here. Um, I, I got some messages as I was taking a few seconds to just kind of ground my energy for, for you guys, and Spirit is advising me to use the same cards that I have been using, but we're going to do this spread a little differently. I just kind of roll with it, but they're showing me these, called three lanes of cards is what they're, they're telling me. So <clears throat> we're going to go with that. I do feel like there's a lot going on in your energy right now, Scorpio. Intuitively, <clears throat> before even picking up a card, I will say to you, understand, and Spirit is saying that you are a multifaceted individual. You can, it's, you know, the jack of all trades, master of none, but Scorpio, somewhere in the middle of that, you have mastered certain things and other things you, as you have kind of like checked things off of your list. You're also realizing um, wow, there's spirit is going to the emotional space. Wow, I still have so much work to do on this playing field. Spirit is also saying there is something, once again, Scorpio, that you're getting ready to close out. You're kind of like, I feel like there's been some seesaw energy. I know your mid February was about making a choice in something there. Um, so whether or not you've come to that point where you've made a choice and now there's another choice because we're, you know, we make choices every day. What, what clothes we're going to wear, you know, what we're going to have for dinner. So, you know, who knows what it is. Um, but there's there's something else that's coming up here and it's like you're finally something that you could have been towing the line about for some time. Finally going, here's the moment that what I need to say is being said, what I need to address is being addressed and it's kind of like a take no prisoners vibe. I don't think you're being stark. Spirit is, spirit is asking you, though, to maintain your emotional stability. Don't let somebody else throw you off. And I do feel like, Scorpio, you've got oh, probably a, quite a few areas of your life right now where you know the, if somebody says the wrong thing to you, the stinger is very likely to come out and it's it and it could be something that triggers you right um we deal with things all the time that will trigger us and but i think that you have sat back in that silence for some time now that has allowed you to view things i i do feel like in the past couple of weeks as well um you may have and i think this came out in your weekly yesterday um there's there's been some kind of communication there's been something kind of like that unexpected moment that has come up that it may have been very uncomfortable for you it could have been like a mini tower moment if you will but but what it has brought to the surface has to do with your emotional needs realizing that even though you have done so much work in Scorpio, kudos to you and many other signs, um, you've done so much work, but there is still some of that residual shit that lays deeper beneath that layer of the onion I talk about, right? Like getting closer to the core of you that needs to be addressed. The reality of that is coming into form. So let's go ahead, grab some cards here. I'm not sure. They're telling me to read <clears throat> for three different situations for you guys. Why? I don't know, but I, I did say to you, there's multiple situations that you've got various things going on. So let's uh, let's see what spirit has uh, otherwise. Let's, let's dive into the messages here, Scorps. All right. 
<laughs> he just told me to be subtle with you. Uh-oh. All right, for Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know? Will of Fortune, I just said about it, right? Fate, destiny, your abundance. Scorpio, I've said it before recently, and I'm going to say it again. You're, you are looking <clears throat> not towards just financial freedom, but a freedom in all areas of your life. And I think that there's been increments that this freedom has stepped up for you. You've walked into this freedom, and it's still there's still so much more to be had for you. It isn't like it was a one and done. This is, it's going to continue for you moving forward, but you're slowly stepping into that. And I'm going to say, you know, it gives me the page of pentacles energy I, or the knight of pentacles. I like that for you because in that energy, you think about things that start off really fast. They end as abruptly as they've started. For you, this is a slower moving process, which I don't think a lot of you, especially if you have fire in your chart, in prominent placements, are super used to. So it's like, this is coming in slowly, and I think in the beginning, maybe you had a little bit of impatience for things. Maybe it was like, a, you know, almost a space of desperation, if I need this now, like it has to happen right now. Spirit probably put you on a timeout at some point, some stagnancy, probably throughout the end of the year, moving into the new year. That said, okay, wait a second, like you need to find patience. And I think that a lot of the situations you've dealt with in the past year, two years have provided you with a different type of patience that you may never, you know, might have never ever had at all. Because now you're starting to see it differently. And it's like getting older, getting wiser, that kind of thing. If I knew now what I knew then, or knew then what I know now, I got it backwards. So, <clears throat> all right, Scorpio, let's see here what comes up for you. Crystal ball, clarity. Um, I, Spirit is saying clarity around your emotions, clarity about why you maybe react, do things the way that you do. Um, it was that I just said about that that you know mini tower moment, right? Um, it's like the lightning striking. It, it it is the tower. It is that aha where everything is blown to bits, um, so that you can see clearly. It's like once the smoke and the dust settles, there's a clarity that comes in with this. The thing about this that I'm seeing, too, is the vibration that it's letting off. You look at that, like the, the ripple effect. Um, you start to realize with whatever this tower was, how it's had a major impact on everything else in your life to some degree. Now, let those ashes settle. Now, let the smoke dissipate. Now you're able to see things in a much more clearer perspective. I think that whatever's happened here, Scorpio, for you recently, um, it's almost like it, it was shocking, but yet it wasn't. And in, 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 in that, if I could talk right, right, Jesus, um, there is, it's almost like it hits you and it hits you hard, but it's also... Spirit is using the word numb, like you're almost numb to, to the effects of the shock, right? For you, you are the tower, you are the death card. Other signs could have these moments, and I'm not saying that they're all the same because they're not, um, where that change, that abrupt oh shit moment hits them harder. And for you, it's just like sitting in the eye of the hurricane and not, not letting anything really bother you. Like you may feel the shock, you may feel this, oh my gosh, this awe, but you're not letting it move you. You're not letting it shake you. And maybe for five minutes, you were like, oh my gosh, now what do I do? Maybe for five minutes, you were just like pissed. Who knows, right? But after that emotion settles and you step back into that emotional stability of yourself, it's no longer rattling you. It's no longer shaking you up. You're like, now I see, and now it's implementing a new way from the space of clarity that you're, you're gaining. So, and it's, you know, I don't get into, um, you know, this is just me personally, and I'm not knocking it, a spell work, you know, that kind of thing. But to me, this, this spells isn't spells. Um, but I feel like, Scorpio, if you've asked for something recently, 
if you've asked for, um, I don't know, deeper connections, a better paying job, um, clarity around situations, you know, what love, whatever it is, um, spirit has heard you. Spirit has truly heard your call. And part of this tower, part of this shakeup um, that you may have experienced is going, this is the way we're answering the call, Scorpio. And we can, you know, it's like spirit coming in, being a little bit of a drama queen, going, let's give the dramatic effects to Scorpio because we know they can handle it. That's how this feels to me. Um, you know, so it, it, it's an interesting energy, but it wakes you up. It wakes you up to something deeper within you that you, it's like you felt it, you knew it was there, um, but the severity, the depths of it didn't quite resonate yet. So I hope that, I hope that's, you know, I hope I'm, hope I'm describing that right for you guys. All right, for Scorpio, what else, spirit? I said about that spells, right? Alchemy coming out. It's funny, Scorpio, because it's kind of like you've stood strong in your convictions as to this is what I want. This is what I deserve. This is what I want to acknowledge. And it's like, you know, there could be an easy way. <laughs> Spirit is saying an easy way to get to these things. Um, but again, Spirit's coming in like we're going to do this in this Scorpio dramatic fashion and we're going to take it to the next level. Scorpio, this is like part of your, your spiritual training. This is a part of the training that you you gain insight to so that you can share that with other people. So that you are able to master. It's like there's that mastery, you know, jack of all trades. It's like an it's like an up leveling. And how they're showing me this is if you were to have um, like I said, they wanted me to do three three rows, which is very different. The, the layout anyhow is different than what I usually do with these cards. It's like you've got, we'll call this your job, right? Then you've got love. Then you've got um, you, we'll say, just you in general. It is like, okay, I've worked up to this point. I'm at 50% on my job. And then I've worked, oh, I don't know, you know, 25% at love. And then Scorpio has worked at 60% of the self. And I'm watching these, these grids. They feel like grids to me. So grids could be important to you for some reason of how you're up leveling each time these dramatic situations are happening. You're mastering each thing as it comes in. It's like, oh, I've mastered level 60, right? It's like playing, I'm gonna show my age, Super Nintendo, right? You gotta get to this level and then you gotta master that one and you gotta get to the next one. And the next one in Scorpio, that's how this feels. It's almost like, you know, for some of you, you know, you, we, if you're in the spiritual community and you really dive deep, right, there's the matrix. We are living in the matrix. It is, life is a game, right? What level are we sitting at? And Scorpio, that determination, that perseverance, that fight that you have, no matter how difficult it gets, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to beat this level and I'm going to move on to the next. The level that sits the lowest is the love. It's that emotion. It's, it's, it's almost like you try to cap it off somewhere. Whatever this situation is, it's, it's stirring up feelings. It's stirring up emotions. You didn't realize that when you were asking for something specific, maybe to the external world or to um, <clears throat> you know your job, your family, whatever it might be, that not only was it gonna stir up this external picture of what it was you were desiring, but it was also going to stir up your emotions. It's like spirits going, we're going to alchemize all of it for you. We're going to have you work and alchemize every single aspect of this so that you have this deeper knowledge, this deeper knowing, this deeper understanding. Spirit is also the deeper truth. Spirit is saying, there's somebody here in a situation, Scorpio, and I'm going to say to you, three different areas of life again. They can't hold a candle to you. And I'm not saying this to boist you up and, 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 you know, love bomb you or whatever the hell you want to call it. Your fire, your internal fire, and I see Scorpio as, every, and I think I've said this before, as every queen or king in, in the tarot deck minus the pentacles. You've got that determination. 
you've got the clarity to, you know, you've got that. When you want to say what you got to say, you're blunt and to the point. You sit with your emotions, you react emotionally, right? But the pentacle is the one thing. And I kind of feel like whatever these three things are has affected that pentacle. Pay close attention to if Taurus is in your north node. We're here to work on our equal and our opposite. That's Taurus energy. What is it within that that is struggled at, you've struggled with? But now it's like alchemizing the emotions, the tangible. Again, you've asked for the tangible. You're working on those things, right, for yourself. You didn't realize the amount of emotion it was going to stir up within you because it's like as you're working on these things, now there's other things to work on and the emotions are a big one. Everything is interconnected. It's like you're realizing the connections. It's like, you know, putting one of those uh, puzzles when we're kids um, where you draw the line to, you know, create the shape of the koala bear or whatever it is. And you go from dot one to dot two to dot three. That's, it's connect, there we go, the words, connecting the dots. Thank you, spirit. Um, you're connecting the dots. You're seeing the bigger picture. You're starting to see everything take shape, whether it's a koala or whatever, whatever it is you're, you're shaping here for yourself. Um, it's taking shape. Spirit is saying, um, and I can't quite remember all of the details, eucalyptus on the on the spells, you, using eucalyptus and spell work, magic, there, that's, there's a reason they brought the koala up and they gave it to me. Um, but the spell work, your words, your manifestations have been the spells that you've created. The internal truth and the nature of who you are. You know, there's lavender on this card and it's black, it's almost blacked out, right? You see that right there? It's like blacked out in order for these changes to take place. 17, 17 on the clock. You may feel like you don't have enough peace right now. You may feel like things are coming at you from every single angle. This is temporary. It's like you're taking, you're burning things down. Other people could even be trying to burn your peace. It's like, oh, Scorpio's happy. Oh, Scorpio is going about their day. Can't let that happen, right? What are you gaining from this is massive knowledge. Scorpio, I'd say, some of you could be writing books. Some of you could be reading a lot of stuff right now. You could be taking in a lot of information. Spirit said you could be teaching. Uh, if you're teaching, if you're putting yourself out there, you're also manifesting higher vibrational alignment for yourself and then those that are vibrating to you as well. I think you're starting to see your scope of friends change, your family dynamics change. Um, you may feel almost drawn back to certain things to kind of revisit it and go, you know, it's almost like wanting to call someone and just go, I haven't talked to you about how you doing. And about two minutes into that conversation, you're just like, yeah, I remember now why I haven't called you. We don't, we don't, the frequency is not the same. It's a very interesting energy here, Scorps. Reds. So work on the root chakra, your root, your stability. That could be what you're working on. That book was about wisdom and the oracle comes out of wisdom. Um, this is an, an eternal flame. Made me think of that song, you know. How's it go? Uh, I can't sing like her, so we're not, is this burning an eternal flame? I forget who sang that. Oh my God, again, showing my age here. Um, <clears throat> Scorpio, this is this is North Star appointed. This is, this is you working towards your North, you know, your, your true North. Um, Scorpio, past life, they're bringing up past life stuff as well. Um, you are working on uh, how do I, geez, how do I put this? Um, there is something that you're coming here to do this lifetime, okay? For all of you, it's going to be different. You decide where this comes from. Talked about that mastery, right? You're mastering, there it is. The auger, he's the master. Smoke and prayers. You've asked for this change. You've asked for this manifestation. But this wisdom, this, this, third 
third life path, whatever that means for you. Now I know for me, I'm beyond that, the three there, but for all of you, again, it's going to be different. Some of you, you're looking upwards of eight times over. Others of you, this may be your third, third go around. Um, but there's something about this that says you, you've gained the torch, you've gained successes, uh, of, of ways of remedying the past life stuff, working on those things, mastering those things. You've got those two torches there. There's victory. There's success. It's the internal flame within you that is burning. Once that fire has been sparked within you that you realize, and you, you know, on a conscious level, you may not understand how much that flame was slowly being lit up and building that momentum, right? Like I said, it lights up fast and erupts. It tends to fizzle out just as quickly. This is a slow buildup to get you to where you are in this very moment. Other people may have seen these little changes. So let's just say as an example, like think about your kids. If your kid goes off with their friend for a week to, to the beach for vacation and they come back a week later, and you know they're younger it looks like they grew a foot right <clears throat> or if you have that long distance cousin you ain't seen her kids in six months and all of a sudden they come in and my god these kids have grown three feet like people were watching you grow right and they may have seen you enough that it didn't seem like this this big shift this big change and maybe even for you you not quite seeing it either as to how much you were shifting how much you were changing but then all of a sudden there's this, this spark that ignites and it's like, Scorpio, there's something in your energy that is larger than life itself. And there's something in this shift in this clarity of how you're alchemizing the, the big picture as you're connecting the dots. That something outside of you, someone outside of you is seeing this. And I talked about those three different energies, right? That you could be dealing with maybe work, home, family, love, whatever it is. They're seeing this massive change within you and Scorpio for you specifically this is about your ability to evolve to shift and it's like you're doing it while without recognizing that you're doing it you feel it and you acknowledge the little things it's like being grateful for every little step every little accomplishment but victory and success at last true victory and success yes celebrate your little wins but there's a big picture here that's coming into form and it's requiring you to take a look at your deeper emotional levels because they're still healing within. It's like, yes, my stability, check. My desires, check. My solar plexus, my, my identity, my happiness, check. Shit, the heart space. That heart is the bridge, <clears throat> excuse me. It is the bridge when it comes to our chakra centers in the body, the seven main. We've got the throat, the third eye, the crown, right? That is all our internal process of the connection to the divine. The solar plexus, the sacral, and the sacral chakra itself for you, Scorpio, is part of your life path, regardless of what life path number you are. Cancers and Scorpios, we've come here to master those desires. And the root. Most Scorpios have struggled with the root because what's up next? The sacral and knocks everything off balance below it. So you could have really struggled with your stability and even your confidence as a result because they all sit all about the external world, Scorpio. But in order to bridge the gap between that external world, which is the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root, and bridge that gap to the internal world, which is the throat, the third eye, and the crown, we have to do heart healing. And those emotions are being stirred up within you. Whether you've got somebody who's interested in you, whether you've got you know, relationships you're trying to get out of and in trying to rectify why you continue to do the same shit over and over again with somebody else. You know, when it comes to your children, when it comes to your family, when it comes to past, you know, childhood traumas or triggers or abuse or whatever the hell you've ever dealt with in your life. What is it that you desire so much within that you're so connected to? And then it's like your external world is that other side of it, right? The third missing ingredient here is in the heart space. All right, I hope, I hope that's all working for you. P.S. Three cards in, here we are, 25 minutes later. 
Surprise, surprise. All right, Scorpio, let's keep going. All right, for Scorpio, please, Spirit, March. Catalyst, I told you this clarity, that aha, uh -huh, that epiphany, and that tower mo moment, and pardon me, I got like hiccups this morning from the coffee. It was that tower moment, and what do you have with that? The catalyst. This is your catalyst for transformation yet again. Scorpio, I'm going to tell you, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself in multiple ways to be flexible with the universe because this catalyst, this hydra, the airs of change are going to continue to happen for you significantly this year. You may feel like you just got out of a cycle and within like two weeks, boom, there you go again. Boom, there you go again. And it's just like, shit, like can I? Spirit, universe, God, angels, can you just give me two seconds to sit down and have my coffee in peace? Because we just did this shit yesterday and I'm not ready to start over again today. Spirit just said, they're not going to let up. Scorpio, you're not meant to stay stagnant. Yes, you could be feeling some burnout. This could be mental exhaustion. This could be, I'm tired. And it's like, your, your body and your brain is going to, you know, I need a rest. And spirit is going, we've got you. We just need you to hang in there. Let's get to the finish line. Let's get to this victory and success. Don't let anything else or anyone else throw you off of where you're heading. You know, and it's like, you again we talked about that transformation it's like you're becoming a different version and look at that that snake is shedding its skin over and over and over again and scorpio you're in the middle of this right smack dab in the middle of what this year is going to be for you that changes your life the third quarter spirit is saying is going to be very indicative so what is that Jul or yeah july through september Every bit of work that you have done from the beginning of this year into July, you're going to start to see the culmination of what you've done pay off in that third quarter period for you. You're going to see it. And, you know, as I look down here, that's a nine. It's September. September could be a very, very, very significant time marker. And Spirit is also pointing out Hydra, Libra season. Okay. So what else for Scorpio? What goes with the spells, the alchemy? I, I just said Libra, did I not? Look at that. There is Libra. The heart and the head coming together. That, that alchemical balance. You can't fucking make it up. Can't make it up. There it is. Alchemy and balance. It is the perfect mixture between the two, Scorpio. You get a seven here. Um, heart and head, resting the mind, trusting and having faith, believing in your abilities to foresee the things that are coming to you. You could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody here could be trying to, you know, it's funny, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. Somebody here could be trying to get out of their own head and get out of their heart. Somebody here is mirroring back to you what it is that you've got going on, but yet at the same time, they're still not where you are. And I'm not knocking the other side of this situation. I'm not putting Scorpio on a pedestal. But what I'm saying is, those tra we talk about those transformations happening faster and faster and faster for you. You may have gone through 10 transformation. Frank over here has only gone through six. Okay? I hope that makes sense for you guys. The motivating factor is to balance your life. Aries energy. You could have Aries placements in your chart, but I'm also going to say to you, you know, we're in Pisces season and happy birthday to my Pisces or those of you that have those placements. Um, that at the same time, it won't be long till Aries season is here. Don't forget, it, they're breaking this all into quarters for me. Don't forget the second quarter work. Like, I feel like you're going to get an amp up of, of like rejuvenation, um, energy that comes in through airy season and it's like there's that ram right like you're funny haha ramping up uh with that ram energy that inspired motivation um spirit is even saying practicality with that maybe that's leading into Taurus season to just like trailblaze and set the path scorpio it's coming 
What is this oracle about? Patience. Here's the thing. I feel like something comes in with this patience. Um, and this could be, I talked about the patience earlier. You're having a different type of patience these days. Um, where you may feel defeated. There may be something that happens in March that leaves you feeling defeated or Spirit just said you're laying something to rest. Take that how you need to, okay? Um, but there's something here that happens that as much as this might be a difficult situation, Scorpio, it's going to help you to find the motivation to close out other significant cycles. Typical, dramatic, Scorpio fashion. It would not be a transformation without a boom, boom kind of moment, right? There, there's some kind of sorrow that I'm picking up from this patience card. I'm not going to bullshit you. Um, some kind of loss that may affect your foundations. Um, this may also pertain to a third parent somehow. The spirit is saying a grand exit. Something here is closing out. You may also be trying to emotionally support and you're going to need to have patience through this emotional support of a family dynamic for something or somebody. Spirit said, including yourself. Don't forget that you are a person too. It's courage. Scorpio, you are gaining your wings to transcend these obstacles. Your wish fulfillment doesn't come without great spirit is saying agony it doesn't come without loss it's like when Scorpio has to sacrifice something to gain something more it cuts deep and you know that you've been there done that you know exactly what I'm talking about but understand that it's like the birth that gets it's like a womb for every loss, there's a new beginning. And I'm going to say this. So this is the comparison. And I've got the heebie-jeebies as I say this. Um, you think about it. When someone passes away, it's not too long before there's a new life that's entered this world. Or one that's already on its way. For everything that is lost, it may not be able to be replaced in the same sense, but something new is going to take over whether this is a metaphorical thing or this is a physical thing. The lot, Spirit wants you to know, and I'm almost, I'm almost wanting to get like, on the verge of teary-eyed, these struggles have not been in vain. You are getting to exactly where you need to be. You have asked for this change. And I'm not saying you've asked for misery, right? Who the hell does? But for you, for this life path, for this purpose, this is what you've signed up for. You may not think, and it's like you don't even see this coming, but you're going to handle this with grace. Do not internalize someone else's pain, though. Because empathy, right? It's like you're sitting in that empathy. And it's like, here, let, let, me, let me take over your pain. Whatever somebody else is dealing with around you, yes, love them. Yes, support them. But you can't live it for them. You're sitting on a beautiful new beginning again. But it will not come without you being able to feel. You will feel again. Very, very strong message in that last card. That wisdom, 
you, and it's almost like two with whatever this dynamic is, and I'm going to clarify, whatever this dynamic is, Scorpio, that comes in with this, it's almost like you become matriarchal, patriarchal, like you could be taking over a position in a family role that you are now the leader in some way. Spirit is saying the eldest. There is a role here that you are taking on. And getting teary eyed. Um, that you didn't think that you would have to take on so soon. One way or another, I'm like, is this for everybody? Because the way this is coming into me, is this for everybody? The Spirit is saying, it is for all of you. This isn't like, oh, it's 25% of these Scorpios and 10% of these ones. Um, it is for all Scorpios. But understand that the role that you're taking over, this leadership position that you're going to step into because of a loss of something else, um, is not going to be the same for everybody. You're going to know exactly what it is. Okay, so very interesting energy. And Scorpio, Spirit is also saying this is the only way for you, for you to have these experience that you need to gain the wisdom for what is to come down the road up to three years from now, Spirit is saying, for you to be able to handle this. You're going to have a much different perspective on all of it moving forward. You're going to be able to lead the way. You, it, this is for your purpose of leadership. Okay? All right, let's clear. 37 minutes in and we're clarifying. Scorps, you're going to be fine. I just feel the need to say to you, like, you, you're so damn resilient. Um, you're going to be fine. All right, what is this clarity and catalyst for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Clarity and catalyst. Five of Cups. I said about that sorrow, right? Like, it's not, it doesn't come without defeat. Uh, or not even say defeat, but exhaustion. Um, Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords which is that truth, that clarity, that crystal ball. Scorpio, fighting back your emotions on a particular situation, I think something here left you disappointed when this truth, this clarity, this revelation, this tower moment came in. Um, I, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't understand. Scorpio, there you are. And you've kind of got, like you're, talk about this leveling up so too. Like you're dealing with somebody here that... They're just now starting to get the big picture. They are just now starting to understand. As I say about the Two of Swords comes out with, you know, I always say she, I like this Two of Swords because she's taking off the blindfold, right? She's in the process of Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Something here tied to someone else more than likely, but yet significantly tied to you. Um, they may, we'll just call it a fuck up. I don't know. Careless with the Page of, of uh, Wands. Some kind of communication, I talked about the communication earlier, comes in and it's like, this shows you a truth. It shows this person a truth. And Knight of Wands is like, it may have been an upheaval for whatever reason, but this works out to free you up, the Knight of Wands. She's carefree, she's having fun, she's enjoying life, right? It may not have felt like in the moment this was a positive shift, but it is a positive shift. Wheel of Fortune, it's a positive turn of events. There, there's something, too, that maybe even others around you are, are now seeing that maybe they kind of turned a blind eye to something. Now they're seeing things for exactly what they are. It's bringing this cycle to a completion so that you have that freedom of walking away from a particular situation. And it's probably, here we go, emotional manipulation. And it's affecting your ten of pentacles. I said it earlier, finances, right? There it is. Popping itself up out of the deck. Scorpio, walking out of, Scorpio, you have been, um, and you continue to be, the thing that you, I, I've said it before, you light a match, you let it burn, and you'll walk away. And you walk into the next phase of happiness. And I, 
And as I mean, I don't think I talked about that tower with this row, and there it is. The sun and the tower. Somebody here, and I'm going to say this, they, they're seeking an emotional reaction from you. When you don't give that emotional reaction, when you choose to shut this down, let it burn, baby, let it burn. They're, they're going to seethe under the skin because they want that emotional reaction from you. They want to, whether it's piss you off, light you up, make you mad, and you not reacting, you not giving them the satisfaction of watching you implode and explode in anger is the very thing that creates their tower moment. You are the tower, Scorpio. You're just not going to do it anymore. You have been shutting things down this year, left, right, and sideways. And I see you kind of step into this energy of trying to figure it out. But the way that you've poised yourself has been immensely graceful. A lot of people can't master that. And, I, and I'm going to say, I don't think that you've mastered it, but you've gotten pretty damn good at it. There's still some ways to go because you're still leaning into this little bit of this indecisive energy from time to time, trying to get that heart and that head on point, right? All right, ten of, or the Page of Swords, a learning experience for somebody, probably somebody younger than you, the Ten of Pentacles. They're recognizing, Scorpio, and somehow tied to you, like you've taken the brunt of something here as this Queen of Pentacles. Um, but they're learning. Somebody could be reading, researching. You could be reading and researching um, about a particular aspect and or situation that says, okay, like, this situation is towing a fine line. You know, whatever this is. But there's, again, that clarity. You know, you look at this page of swords. And as I say that, there comes the Queen of Swords again and the, the Will of Fortune. The light bulb moments, right? There's a whole lot of epiphanies happening. There's a whole lot of, oh, wait. Connect the dot. 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 There's a lot of learning. There's a lot of messages that are coming in. There's a lot of awareness that comes in with this energy. You know, and even at that, you look, you know, light bulbs, right? There's light. Light at the end of, end of the tunnel. You've got these lanterns of light in the Ten of Pentacles. It's lighting the way. And P.S. Scorpio, that makes nine. You've got five lanterns and four light bulbs. Maybe you need four light bulbs in your house. I don't know. Side message. Thank you, spirit. They tell me goofy, crazy things like that all the time. But this is, and I'm going to say too, Scorpio, whatever this spirit is giving me the word child, okay? Um, or again, this could be somebody younger than you. This person has um, physical and ethereal energetic energy, if I could talk around them. There is protection in both the physical world and the spiritual world. And however this is tied to you, this is tied to your pentacles. This is tied to your home, your life, your legacy, your stability. And then you've got more children here. Somebody understands where you're coming from, whatever that means for you. King of Swords coming out in the reverse. And somebody else refuses to see it. I'm going to leave that with that. Because whatever the, whoever this King of Swords is in the reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they are being put in a timeout. They're going to have to make a decision. Spirit is showing me in my mind's eye the Eight of Cups again. They may get up and walk away. That in itself may be your very blessing. This spells an alchemy with balance, spirit. Five of swords in the reverse. Chariot. Five of swords in the reverse. Is there, there's someone there that's trying to disrupt your forward momentum there, Scorpio, most definitely. Your, your four of wands and your ten of cups. Um, how many ways can they, like, upset the apple cart here? That may be the thing that... You know, I talked about those three different things, right? That that stirring of that energy that's happening. There is somebody who, again, has watched you change, grow. You know, you went from five foot to five three. I don't know, whatever. Um, but there's that internal flame within you. There is that growth that's happening within you. They don't hold a candle to you. 
could very well be a Libra or a Cancer as those cards sit here. It doesn't have to be. They see you moving up, moving on. You know, you think about the big moves in your life too. New job, new partner, new car, new house, new baby. Whatever these new things are to you, this happiness for you that you know you're deserving of. You've worked really hard to get there. Learning to set those fears aside. They don't want you to be in this space. Plain and simple. They don't want you to be there. It's like, oh, I see Scorpio healing their heart. Let me fuck with their mind. It's head games. I see Scorpio mentally, you know, they've got it together. They're clear and concise. I'm going to go fuck with their emotions. It's like, why can't you just leave one or the other alone? It's like, anytime you find that balance, there's that seven, right? The boundary line and that balance. They're like, here, let me mess with that for you. Strength, Leo energy. Um, could be dealing with Leo, doesn't have to be. But see, Scorpio, that's the thing. Courage and, and strength. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright, the Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Your viewpoints on what happiness means to you, this is somebody, we could go back seven years, Spirit is saying, seven to nine years ago. You know, you might have a long-term, I don't know, maybe you had a financial obligation. Maybe you had a family with this person. Maybe this is a parent, right? It could be a thousand different scenarios that you've, you know, you can still cut ties and still have to deal with this person to some extent. Um, that they still try to disrupt your peace. They try to upset the apple cart. There you are. Do not mistake my weakness or my kindness for weakness. Which, which side of Scorpio are you going to get? Because typically with a Scorpio, you're going to get what you give. That's the thing. It's kind of like you're standing your ground and going, I'm going to try to maintain my, my perfect balance for me. But if you fuck with me, you're going to see the other side of it. You know, there comes that scorpion stinger. And I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, that mix of that emotion, that stirring up of things, that fire within you. Use that fire, that anger, that frustration of a situation. Turn it out into passion, motivation, desire for something positive. Transmute that energy. Because whoever this is is coming it with you or coming at you with this deception these lies, this manipulation. Like I see the five of swords anymore as the, you know, self-sabotage in the upright and the reverse more so someone else trying to sabotage you. That's what I'm getting here. They're trying to sabotage your forward moment, moment, forward momentum. Jeez Louise. Scorpio, you can't be stopped. I think I said it, you were unstoppable or on something, right? Now the challenge for you is to master those emotions. Anybody or anything that is standing in your way, it's like you're taking that moment, that time to see it for what it truly is. And I think when it comes to your emotional level, Scorpio, that's where you're struggling to go. This is how I truly feel. Now I have to take action on that, right? So maybe you've been in an on again, off again relationship. We'll use that as the example. Can't ever bring yourself to just fully walk away. All of these things that it's like you've practiced or you've had these go-around karmic cycles with, you're ready to, to be done with them. Like if you're going to say you're going to go, you got to make sure you're ready to go. And I think with this, this spells and this alchemy, the spirit is lining this up so you can leave those things behind. You don't have to reinvest in them. Um, timing and patience, spirit just said. What is this patience about here? King of Wands coming out sideways. You could be dealing with it. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Six of Swords. Um, Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups on the bottom. Um, Scorpio, after this period of some kind of massive emotional insight and wisdom, it's almost like 
you you feel bad for something or somebody. Um, you could have dealt with someone. We'll keep it um, plain Jane, I guess. Breadcrumbed, you, you know, breadcrumbed you, and it's like you don't have it in your hearts of heart of hearts to be that way. Um, the true soul nature of Scorpio is very soft, kind, loving, tender, not always cuddly as a cactus, right? Um, but it's like you're at a place where you just want to move on and bring peace to a situation. So whether, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say this for, for all of you, right? Like your situation is going to be different from the next person's. They're showing me um, a couple different scenarios. So this may or may not be yours. There could be an issue with co-parents. There could be an issue with the passing of a loved one over like estate matters. Um, there could be, I don't know, long drawn out divorce. There could have been some kind of move or separation. There could have been a family fight and dynamic over something that was trivial. But spirit is saying to find forgiveness of those situations. That Ace of Cups with the Six of Swords, moving on to peace, moving on and opening up in love. Scorpio, I'm going to say to you, this King of Wands in the sideways position, I've seen him come up for you time and time and time and time and time again for months. He's popped up in a lot of readings for a lot of the other signs too. He's been a son of a bitch. Um, but it's like you're finally bringing this energy's bullshit to an end. And I don't think that this is just a Sag or an Aries or a Leo. I think that this has been the embodiment of some of the people around you that have created that fire within you. They don't, they may be completely unevolved or stuck in their evolvement. They don't know what to do with their hurt, their pain, their anger, their disappointment, their betrayals that have nothing to do with you whatsoever. But you in that energetic exchange of them with them, you know how to transmute that. There's frustration and agony from this side of it because they don't know how to do that or they don't do it as well as you do it. And I'm not trying to pat you on the ass and be like, yes, Scorpio is the greatest sign ever because we've got our issues, right? But it's, a, you have like, you've run that marathon. You've crossed that victory line of that transmutation over and over and over and over again. The people that you have met, you have become their karma, their lesson, their whatevers to help them take that shape, that catalyst. You have become the catalyst, the tower in their life because you've stuck to your gun. You could be dealing with a lot of people that are very flaky. Here today, gone tomorrow. In it for the moment, gone tomorrow. Like, you know, whatever it is. And you're like, it's like spirit is asking you to open up to love, back to that heart space, that, that gap, right? That bridge. And just give forgiveness. Easy for me to say, right? Like, I'm not sitting in your shoes. But Scorpio, when you transform this, and there you are. Your pentacles, your opportunities, lover's card there, Gemini sticking its head out. Your opportunities, spirits have become tenfold. You've taken your losses, now take a gain. It, it changes, it transforms. Somebody too, with that lover's card there, um, could be offering you some kind of happiness. Ten of cups, nine of cups energy. They want to invest in you. They want to try. Are you going to let them? Scorpio, you have a lot of shit going on in March. And I, this, we're 55 minutes into this. Um, you've got a lot of shit happening. But I'm going to tell you, if you play your cards right, all pun intended, ha ha ha, right? Um, you are going to become... It's almost like I said earlier, you're gaining your wings. It's a sense of freedom. It's a transformation. I mean, you look at this courage card. Ah, and look, I never did look until just now. Behind it is compassion. 
you take a lot of pride in how you carry yourself, right? Take pride in the compassion that you give, how loving you are. Eight and a six. But you see the transformation that's happening here? It's not done. The challenges, the upsets, the lessons, they're not done. But this is, this is a new spark that's happening. This is a new awareness that's taking place. Scorpio, this is just the beginning again. You are beginning again. And, you know, I could call it powerful. Um, I could use all those big fancy words. But this is... I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't even know that I can come up with a word right now in this moment that gives such an impact to the energetic vibration that I feel that comes in with this energy. Scorpio, you are the tower. You are transformation. You are change. You sit with those hard emotions. You live in those hard emotions sometimes. Um... Hopa Onopono with the forgiveness. It's a Hawaiian prayer of forgiveness. It addresses, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. If you aren't familiar with it, look it up. But Scorpio, this is going to open you up to love. This is going to open your heart space. It's forgiving those who have wronged you. It is making peace with situations that... It's, it's just, it's like, it's the final goodbye. It is the final goodbye. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, what am I going to title this video? This is the final goodbye. To a lot of this. There is something, three different areas of your life that is taking shape right now. And these are the final goodbyes. And that could be part of that loss that I talked about earlier. It may make you feel like shit. It may break your heart. But one part of this is teaching you your value. To have someone meet you halfway. The other part of this is like putting a lid to your past and saying you don't rule me anymore. And the other one has to do with you healing your childhood wounds. So you do not pass those on to your children. Advice. Advice for Scorpio, Spirit. Advice for Scorpio, please. Advice for Scorpio. Healing heart. Separation. S sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future. Healing heart. Healing heartbreak. Toxic toxicity. Addictions. Abusive relationships. I will say this. Anywhere you have felt used, abused. Um, and Scorpio, I'm going to say for a large part of you... Again, those three areas of life, there's, there may have been different types of abuse um, or manipulation that has happened over the years that you're starting to separate yourself from and realizing the difference. Date. Get back out there meeting someone new, setting a date, date online. There you go, Scorps, what I say. Someone may be wanting to give to you. There it is. There's a new passion, a new fire that's sparked within you. Stay grounded. Don't become so obsessed in it. Scorpio has a tendency to do. Keep yourself balanced as your heart space changes. Um, and even if this person isn't the person, you're getting hella practice in. This is the final goodbye. All right, Scorpio, I'm leaving it there. I'm sending you guys so much love, light. Take care of yourselves. Like, share, subscribe, comment if you've not done so. I will see you on the next one.